Hey guys, what's going on? Alpha here with another video, and I am really excited for this video today. I'm going to be playing Battlefield 1, the beta, of course, for the first time uh, right here, right now. So, first and foremost, I just want to really emphasize I've never played the beta before. This is my first time even loading uh, this window up right here, so we're going to be diving in and just kind of, you know, first impressions, that whole thing. Uh, I'm excited for this game because I've never played a World War One game before. I don't even think there's been one uh, before, so this is going to be very interesting. Uh, I have to admit, I haven't really followed it very closely, like the developments of this game, you know, other than, you know, kind of like the announcement and everything like that, so I'm not really sure uh, of a lot of the particulars, but we'll kind of, you know, see what happens here. So, let's see here. Uh, happy month. Well, thank you. Uh, so we can do campaigns grayed out, soldier grayed out, okay, because it's, you know, a uh, beta, of course. So I guess we'll just go to multiplayer. We got conquest and rush. Uh, but, but I'm gonna try rush just because I think rush is a little bit more fun. I just I don't know why I do. So go ahead and try rush. This is pretty cool. This menu here. I like how you don't have to use battle log for this. Um, you know because maybe it's just because it's a beta. But before typically joining games and stuff, you had to use battle log. So all right, attack or defend the telegraphs. Okay, so we've got telegraphs here. Look at this. This is, uh, this is different, huh? Look at these guys. So, I guess that's me. Apples, three out of five. Butter. Okay, I guess those are the squad names. That's, that's, that's creative. There we go. So, who are we fighting with? Damn, this game is red. Look at this. This is a very red game. So, we're going to choose our, our class here, our kit. Uh, we've got Assault, Medic, uh, Support, Sniper. That's pretty uh, standard. I think I'm going to go with... I don't know, Assault, just because it's the first one. We'll see Whoa! Oh, boy, look at this. This kind of looks like Star Wars Battlefront quite a bit. F is bayonet charge. I don't know. It's just kind of like the, the mechanics. Feels a little bit like that. So, I'm not going to try to speculate as to what the setting of this is. Well, I guess I am. If I had a guess, I'd say it's like North Africa or like Egypt or something like that. But whatever it is, it's very yeah, tank, realistic. So, I right, we got a guy down there. I can spot him with Q. Oh, look at this. Come on, he's back there. I see him. Enemy hit, enemy hit. There he is. This gun reminds me a lot of... There was a gun in Call of Duty World at War. It was a lot like this. I think it was called like a Type 100 or something. But, uh... Any oh! What the hell out of nowhere! Look at that! That was something else, huh? Well, I guess that's what you get when you're just kind of, you know, screwing around over here. I just want to check the graphic settings really quickly. Make sure they're turned up to max. Because I do have a 1080 under the hood, so we're going to want to make sure... Uh, that's, you know, so we're going to want to make sure that's, uh, being utilized here. Da -da -da. Okay, let's go. Can we go up to 60 or are you just going to, yeah, it's going to get me at 59 frames. Full screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, that's, yeah, good. No, screen. Okay. Advanced. Yes, there we go. Ultra. Okay, so it automatically put it all on ultra. So I don't need to fool around with that. No, can't. I don't want to, I don't know what it just did. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. There we go. Uh, resume. And we're going to go back here to defend A and B. So, telegraphs. That's what we're defending. You know, in Battlefield, all the Battlefield games, it was always an MCOM station. But now we've got telegraphs. So, I guess uh, it's kind of the same thing in a way. So, we've got this gun here. We've got a pistol. We've got... Uh-oh. Objective apples. We're coming, apples. Oh, the hell out of here. Oh, he's got gas! He's got gas! Run! No! Oh, piss off! Taking people out left and right. This is pretty gruesome, this game here. We have defused objective oh, thank the Lord. Alright. Let's get behind some cover. These look like like ancient Roman ruins or something. It's very... Very interesting. Setting. Well, I don't want to stay out in the open too much. Oh, they got a tank! What is this? We got uh, dynamite charges. Let's go see if we can blow this tank right here. Get down, get down, get down. A pistol out in case somebody runs around this corner. Uh-oh. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh, damn it. Somebody did it for me. Look at that. And now I'm out here with no cover. Well, I'm behind cover. I'm just kind of a little bit too... Moved up a little bit too far here. There we go. Suppression assist. I like this game a lot, I gotta say. Just initial impressions wise, uh, I'm really liking what I see. It plays a lot like a mixture between um, Battlefront and 
bad company in a way. It has this sort of bad company feel to it. I think it's because it's, you know, it's simpler. It's a simpler game, you know, because obviously there's less, you know, technology and everything. Alright, I'm gonna go sniper this time here. Let's go see if we can't snipe some stuff. Look at this scope. Alright, so we got A and B. Now, what does this mean at B? Does this mean there's some different symbols I'm gonna have to learn? Maybe I think this is a good place to snipe. Be a little bit too far back, though. Yeah, we're gonna move up just a little bit. So, I don't know too much about the maps, but I anticipate, you know, like, if you know anything about World War One, you know, like, the trench warfare and all that, so I anticipate there's gonna be some, some trench stuff going on on some of these maps. Uh-oh, sniper! Scope Flint. Oh, he just hit me. Damn it. Uh-oh, I just saw a guy coming up on the right side. Were they, like, low on tickets or something? I hear the music creeping up here. I don't see anybody move up a little bit more. Oh, they got three tickets left. That's why. All right. That's the reason for that. Looks like we're gonna win here. Ah, oh, damn it. Didn't lead the shot enough. Got him. No! Just just an assist? Oh, there we go. He won. This reminds me a lot of, like, the Russians in Afghanistan in the 80s. Like, just a map kind of has that feel. It's really, like, the characters as well. Got, like, some Mujahideen looking characters. So, look at that. We won. I won my first round of the Battlefield. Uh. Battlefield 1 beta. So we'll go ahead and continue here. Next round starts in 46 seconds, all right? So I'm hoping we're not going to have to attack here on the same map because it seems like, you know, at least this phase of the, um, you know, I, I, I keep trying to not call them MCOMs, but, you know, I guess you could call them MCOMs. It seems like this phase right here is really difficult for attackers. Uh, it seems like it really favors defenders a lot more because I think they only armed the objective once. So I'm not sure if, you know, the other team was just no good, or maybe it's like a map design thing, I'm not sure. But I'm really liking the core gameplay here, it's really nice. And I think you have to applaud what DICE did. You know, unlike the Call of Duty people who made the same futuristic game, DICE did the opposite. They said, instead of making a, a modern game or a futuristic game, let's make a World War I game. And I think what you're seeing here... And the decision really paid off, because, I mean, this is... It's new, it's fun, and Objective Bravo's... Over. Why are we defending again? Probably gonna get my ass kicked here. Oh, oh shit. Alright, artillery. Let's get out of here. Let's clear out. Hopefully they're not using, like, Saddam Hussein's artillery. No, there's, like, some... There's no gas in there. Come on, get the hell out of here. Why, why was that a hit? Kill assist. A2? Shit. Uh-oh. We lost it? Wait, how, what is going on? We got the Blitzkrieg. I don't know why there's, like, a cowbell on the objective. Like, that's the sound. D damn it. There was, like, two guys over here disarming that. They're what? Retreat to the next... Okay. The wall crumble. That's a pretty cool detail. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out there, all right? Oh, yeah. See, that's what I said about the sniper rifle. So I just pressed F there uh, for the... What do you call it? Like a bunzai attack? Whatever you want to call it. Bayonet. That was pretty intense there. I think we're going to switch to the sniper rifle now. Because, like I said, it seems like that's uh, the gun of the hour here. It's okay. Return to the combat. Why don't you piss off? How about that? Combat area is wherever I want. No, 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 no. We're gonna get shot in the back. We're getting shot in the back right now. V to cycle zeroing distance. That's interesting. Let's get behind here. Heal up a bit. So. Uh oh, is there somebody right there? What is that? A horse? There's a horse? Alright, that's. Uh oh. Who's that? Oh, it's my guy. Alright, that's interesting. Uh oh, gunmen! This fire missed right! Gunmen down! Alright, so there we go. I believe that's my second kill. 
Uh, is it, no, I think it's at least my second. I hear some sniper fire crackling around my head here. And if I had a guess, I'm going to say they're going to run around this side right here. Because we've got heavy fire on the other side of this. These rocks right here. So I think they might come this way. That's just my layman's opinion. And there's a sniper back there. We're not going to be able to hit him. What we got over here? Anybody? Anybody? No. Yeah, I don't want to stick my head up too much. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh! I came out of nowhere. See, I told you they were going to come around that side. And I took my pistol out pretty fast. I got some shots off. It just was not enough. So, space, skip, revive. What? All right. So, we're going to go back to scout. Can we land? Let's, let's go with this guy. He seems like he's in a pretty good spot. What does that mean? Reselecting. There we go. All right. Very good. All right, I guess I did. Did I make private? We have diffused objective. Oh, good! It's about time you started diffusing. So let's take this guy out. No shit. We have lost objective button. Come on, damn it! All right, the lead time with these shots is a little bit, uh, a little bit over the top. Uh oh, yeah, we don't want to go up there. Across this hill right here. The enemy has armed objective apples. Can they just call it objective A? I mean, it's like I, it's kind of hard not to laugh that they're calling it apples, as opposed to like objective bananas. Oh, no, I'm not gonna be able to get him. Well, I want to relocate here. It's just I think that tank. Oh, there we go. It was a nice shot. Oh, somebody took the friggin' kill from me. Well, time to move. I don't know why they say return to the combat area. I mean, you moved the combat area. It's not like I'm going out of it. Retreat now. All right, I think I want to switch kits here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, fall on my sword, if you will. Um, because if you notice, there's a couple of choke points here. Um, so, like, obviously, where I just ran through, where it's going to be pretty easy to pick off tanks. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to... I guess Engineer is gone. Is it just Assault? Alright, so I'll go ahead and put up some explosives. Oh, and I'm in a tank. Look at this. Well, I don't want to be in a tank, so I'll go ahead and hop out. Uh, so... Oh, shit. People right here. So these two choke points here is going to be... It's going to help us out with uh, defending in terms of keeping vehicles out. Oh, no. The vehicles are just going right over the top here. That's... That's terrific. Seems like we got some, some people over here, so we'll go back this way. Oh, shit, got right there. Okay, that should have been a kill. I don't care what anybody says. That was a kill. And it's World War One. They didn't have penicillin then. Like, I think that's... That's a kill. Um, let me get up here. Ever since that bayonet attack, like, I've got this fear of somebody's just gonna lunge down here. Oh, yeah, here he is. No, again. All right, 90% enemy hit there. So we got 90% of him. He's got 10% health left. As you can see, there are a bunch of close calls. You know, that can happen if you have a lot of lag. So we'll just go ahead and show you. Yeah, look at this. I got 17 ping. That's... That should be plenty. Let me go ahead and get out again. Oh, can I get on this turret here? Here we go. Cannot see anything here. Well, they're gonna be coming over eventually, right? Oh! What the? See, I told you they were gonna be up there. Got Bruce Wayne up on the top there with his little cape. Some cape action. I'm not sure what the capes do in the war. Like, I don't know what. You get, like, some tactical capes or something. I'm not sure what they're doing. I guess I'll stay in the tank this time. Why not? That shot looks like we got a full tank. Can I, uh, can I, can I switch views with this thing? We're gonna do like a drive-by here? Is that what we're doing? We're just gonna pull up and blast them? Oh, we're right near it, so that should help. Uh-oh, I think somebody's putting a bomb on this. 
Capped his ass. There we go. Yeah, well, there you go. Why don't you do something about that? You got it? Good. There we go. I was about to hop out there. Let me get out of this tank because uh, I have some reservations. Oh, oh, yeah, let's take him out. Push back in the seat too, Dad. Shouldn't get back here. Uh oh! All of the pistols in this game, they're so... I feel like that nice old school feel to them. I feel like... Oh shit! Tank! Tank! God, I don't think I have anything for this tank. No, I've got... What is this? Oh, okay, that's a gas gun, I think. This is a good spot to be. Can we, can we turn the tank a little bit? Here we go. Uh-oh. Got some heavies coming up on us. Let's move the tank over to... Bananas here, whatever you want to call it. And it's armed. Can't see shit out of here. Can't see anything. No, this is probably not going to work. We gonna defuse that? No, no, damn it! All right, well, what are you gonna do? Oh, there's a guy coming! Ah, take him out! No. Ah. This reminds me a lot of the DP28, also from World at War. Taking out again. See, I knew the the choke points would be right here. Like all the action, it's right there. The map design reminds me a lot of um. Bad Company, it really does. Bad Company 2, at least. Alright, well, I, I mean, this is it. We gotta defend this thing here, right? Can I see a map? No, no map for me. There's some ammo to these guys. You guys want some ammo? No, that's not ammo. There you go. That's ammo. Oh, another tank! Where are they coming out of these... How do they keep getting the tanks in here, really? Are we, are we defusing it? What are we doing? We got it? Got it? No! I, oh, good, I did get it. I was gonna say... You have no idea how many times I've been so close to defusing bombs, but at least I got it that time. He has armed objective apples. Go, 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 go! Defuse! I'm pressing E! Better not get shot! Come on! Got it! Nice! Two for two here. Now oh, we're getting sniped again, damn it. This thing looks like a big ant hill. So I'll just stay here and heal up uh, for a second. I hear a tank coming! I spot it. There we go. Hope he doesn't see me. Oh shit, he sees me. Oh, we got guys right here! Guys right here! Take him out! There we go. Helping out the team. Uh oh, another tank. All right, they got one ticket left. We're going to win. Yeah, we're two for two. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and that sort of thing. Uh, so my... Oh, look at this guy here. He's got a little uh, Bad Company 2 icon there. So my thoughts for this game is it seems awesome. It's a nice change in direction. It really you know changes things up. The World War One setting and all. Uh, it really lets you go back to the basics, which I think is fun, um, you know, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, but I guess that's going to do it, so I'm going to have some more coming out. But other than that, until next time, thanks for watching.